Hi guys, it's Katie with FDC and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful doily um, hanging light. What you're going to need for this project is some fabric stiffener, um, some doilies in the different varieties, a sponge brush, a balloon, and then a hanging pendant light, and a pair of scissors. So once you get your materials together, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in this project is blowing up the balloon that's going to serve as the mold for our lampshade. So I just have this normal, um, it's just a balloon and I'm just going to um, fill it with air. And I want it nice and full so that I have a good round even shape for my lampshade. So I'm going to tie that with a knot once I get it as full as I want. And I'm going to put it right in this little tin. Okay. Next, we're going to apply our doilies that are going to make up the lampshade. So I'm just using this normal uh, matte Mod Podge. So I pour some of my Mod Podge onto this plate. And now I'm going to start applying my doilies to the balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a layer right here directly onto the balloon. And I'm going to stick my doily right there like so. Now I am not going to the center. I want to leave a small hole big enough for the plug-in part of my lamp to slide through. So I'm going to continue adding Mod Podge to the surface. and then attaching the doily right there. And this balloon is nice because it has this little um, kind of like a dot thing right here, right? And I know that that's the very top and center of the balloon. So I'm just going to work around that. Okay. And there you can see I have a nice little rectangle hole right there. And that's going to just allow me to slide the plug-in through. So once you have those in place where you want them, you want to apply a nice, uh -oh, a nice thick coat of Mod Podge over the top of them. So I'm just going to get a lot on my brush and then I'm going to pat it directly on top of the doilies. And make sure you get it nice and even and make sure it goes all the way to the edges of the doilies because this is what's going to make them stick and be strong in the shape. Otherwise, um, they'll kind of just fall apart when you pop the balloon. Making sure those doilies overlap. That's what's going to hold this together. So I'm just going to finish applying a uh, Mod Podge on top of all of these first four doilies and then I will check back with you and show you the next step. Now that I have my first layer of doilies um, on there and completely Mod Podged, I'm going to start adding the second layer. So to do that, I'm just going to once again get a thick coat, kind of come on top of the seam of the doilies and on the balloon underneath it and apply that and then I'm just going to stick the doily right on top of it like that. And this is just um, kind of like adding a second layer and it's gonna thicken and strengthen the lampshade by doing the double layers like this. So this step is really important. So I'm just applying that Mod Podge to the top just like that. And now I'm gonna work my way around it and everywhere there's a seam is where I'm gonna apply a second layer of doily. Okay, now after this layer is done, I'm going to go ahead and keep applying doilies. Now I'll do this blank space with the doily until I get it down about halfway around the balloon. 
and you just keep applying the first layer, put the doily on and apply the second layer. And then I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then I will check back with you guys and show you the next step. So I've had my doilies drying um, for about a week just cause I wanna make sure they're nice and firm in place. And um, you can either pop the balloon or if your doilies have started to separate from the balloon already and the balloon is shrinking, you can just pull it off like this and then you have the cover all ready to go. And as you can see, this holds its shape really nicely. They're nice and firm, which is exactly how you want it for your lampshade. So, the next step is kind of assembling the light for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and unroll my cord. There we go. And we're going to need to slide the cord through the lampshade. So before I put the light bulb up or anything, I'm just gonna put this through, just like so, and slide it up. And you wanna go all the way through. Until it hits the bottom. And the bottom should hold it in place, just like that. Okay, so now, we're gonna go ahead and attach our light bulb and I'm using this Edison light bulb because they look really cute. You can see the light bulb through the doilies. So um, this is way better than just a regular light bulb. So you're just gonna go ahead and screw that on. And now you have this gorgeous hanging light, just like that. And I'll show you some photos of what this looks like when it's illuminated. Um, super cool way to kind of light your home in a really unique um, just unique style. So anyways, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project and I'll show you what it looks like hanging up.